ever questioned your own motives? Why you did something? Have you ever found yourself scratching your head and declaring, I don't know why I did that. I don't know where that came from. We'll often do this about the behavior or the actions or the words of other people. Why did you say that? Why are you thinking that? Why did you do that? The motive behind an action or the motive behind a word is a pretty slippery topic. It's hard to always know. Some stuff comes out of just a bad night's sleep. Some of our behaviors and attitudes and actions come out of deeply rooted issues that are unresolved in our life. Getting to the heart of the matter is the heart of the matter. The Bible says that our hearts are deceitful, that our hearts will fool us, that we aren't always sure why we're doing something. It could be selfishness and we don't even realize it. It could be out of pride or fear and we're unaware what's really driving or behind that action or attitude or behavior. That's why we need God's help to show us. God, show me what's in my heart. God, give me a clean heart. God, purify my motives. These are necessary prayers to live a healthy life for God and with people. Listen to this prayer from the Old Testament book of Psalms. Put me on trial, Lord, and cross-examine me. Test my motives and my heart. When we're unsure about what's going on with us, we can ask God's help. God will give us insight. When we ask God to reveal issues of the heart, he'll bring them to the surface so that we can deal with them or let them be healed. God wants us to have clean hearts, clean minds, pure motives. You want that too, as do I. It's the best way to live life, the healthiest, happiest way to live life. Praying about it, can make all the difference in the world. Lift your motives and your heart to the Lord. See what he says. Let him do business with you. Deal with the issues as they arise. And just watch how your life will change.